Yo, what up underdog fam, Zachary Babcock here, and we're gonna talk about the decision-making process, like how to make big decisions in your life and in your business, or how you can ramp, ramp up your business to six and seven figures. And I got my man Cole Hatter, founder of Thrive. Many of you know about that awesome event that goes on each year. Uh, he's gonna break it down for us, and then we're gonna get into, I'm gonna share a little bit more specifics with you about making that decision process. And if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notifications if you want the best tips on how to ramp up your business to six and seven figures as an underdog entrepreneur and we are getting started right now my name is Zachary Bell. that would be it it's a, it's a mouthful but it's something I'm passionate about especially for for the underdogs out there you know if you are facing adversity and you do something that doesn't work step back for a second and evaluate and ask yourself a couple of questions you know have the humility of saying is this a good idea and if not, as Mr. Wonderful says on Shark Tank, take it behind the barn, shoot it, and move on to the next one. I also see a lot of people trying to make a bad idea work. And as they always say, you can't polish a turd. So the first question you got to ask yourself is without pride and knowing that it doesn't reflect on you, was it a good idea or not? And we all have got to have that humility to honestly look ourselves in the mirror and say, bad idea, let's move on. If you really think that the idea has got some legs, then you got to ask yourself, where did it fall apart? And then get back to the drawing board or move on to the next idea. And so what a lot of people do is they have that first failure and then they say entrepreneurship's not for me. Business isn't for me. I can't do this. I'm out. And I think that that really costs people a lot of what would have been tremendous success. So what I love about that most about what Cole talked about there was in that decision process, like we'll get so romantic and so caught up on something that we came up with like, oh, this is a great idea. And we bring it to the marketplace and it flops it's a complete dud and um and, and it's a lot of times we'll get caught up on that and i want to share a little bit of story, a story of mine so i did that when i first got into coaching uh, i initially wanted to uh coach uh people coming out of prison and with drug addictions that's who i was right and i quickly found out that people coming out of prison uh and people with drug addictions one they don't have money and two uh, a lot of them didn't even want it. And you gotta have money, to f you gotta fill up your cup first, right, before you can fill up anybody else's. Uh, I got a family to support. So I was a little discouraged about this. I was like, oh man. You know, and later on I figured out a way how I could still serve those people, which I'll get to that in a minute. So after I figured that out, I was like, well, I wanna be a, a personal development coach for entrepreneurs. Yeah, that was a, a complete dud. Um, nobody wanted that shit. I wasn't being specific. I wasn't specific on who my ideal audience was, and I didn't figure out their core needs, their core problems that they're having, and their core desires. Uh, so I couldn't craft a compelling offer that they wanted to actually pull out their credit card and buy. And I kept doing that. I was pushing that for so long, and I was like, finally, like, oh, all right, I'm a, I'm a goal achievement coach for entrepreneurs. Nobody wanted that shit either, not my audience at least. They weren't interested in that. They were interested in how to actually make money in their business because they got their mindset right. You know, I'm not saying that they they can't continue to learn and grow and have a better mindset. That's a, a lifelong, never-ending process. But they're cool personal development-wise. They want to make some money in their business. They need to get some bills paid and grow their business and make the impact that they want to make. And I held on to that idea for so long, all of, all of 2017 just bashing my head against the wall over and over and over again. And finally, until I did what Cole, Cole said, took it out to the back of the yard and shot it, got rid of that idea, and I actually got serious and started doing my marketing homework and figuring out who my ideal clients were, how to craft a compelling offer that they wanted and, needed, wanted and were willing to buy, and figured out how to publish engaging content that resonated and was relevant to them to get them into my relationship path, to my customer journey, and make my nested offer design and how to structure my offers to actually make some money in my business. That's when things started happening. So you gotta get really clear about your decision-making process. And uh, if you want a process, a blueprint that's gonna help you straight level the playing field as an underdog entrepreneur and quickly ramp up your business to six and seven figures, check it out in the description below. It's called the Growth Engine Blueprint. Um, and if you wanna check out the full interview with me and Cole, check it out on, it's also in the description below on iTunes and Google Play, or you can check it out on the website on underdogempowerment.com. And once again, thank you for tuning in, and I'm going to see you on the next video. We put them hours in to bring them down.